Colossus is a Marvel comic superhero known for his superhuman strength and ability to morph his entire body into organic steel. Pyotr Nikolaevich Rasputin is his real name, and he was created by writer Len Wein and illustrator Dave Cockrum. In May 1975, Colossus makes his first appearance in giant-sized X-Men No. 1. Pyotr Rasputin was born on a farm in Siberia, Russia. He was raised as a compassionate and a kind-hearted person with a strong sense of responsibility and commitment to his family and friends. During his teens, he used his mutant abilities to save his sister Ileana from a speeding tractor by converting his skin to steel. Colossus has the mutant ability to turn his whole body's tissues into organic steel-like material, giving him superhuman strength, improved durability and the capacity to resist tremendous physical harm. He's practically impervious to most sorts of harm, including gunshots and most physical attacks in his armoured form. He may, however, feel pain and be damaged by strikes that are particularly tailored to exploit his biological steel nature. He's a member of the X-Men, Professor Charles Xavier's mutant superhero squad. Throughout the history of the X-Men, he's been a significant member, taking part in several missions and confrontations against diverse dangers such as other mutant supervillains, aliens and world-ending disasters. Colossus has appeared in a variety of adaptations, including animated TV programs and video games, in addition to comic books. As previously stated, he's been featured in the X-Men film series and the Deadpool films, played by various actors in various films. X2 2003, Colossus makes his feature picture appearance in X2. Daniel Cudmore played him in the film. Colossus makes a tiny appearance in this film as a student at Xavier's Institution for Gifted Youngsters, who helps to defend the institution from assault. X-Men The Last Stand 2006 Daniel Codmore reprised his role as Colossus in the third episode of the X-Men film series. He plays a little greater role than in X2, although it is still a supporting one. He takes part in the struggle against the Brotherhood of Mutants and joins the X-Men. X-Men Days of Future Past 2014 Colossus is played by Daniel Codmore again in this film. Despite his small involvement, he contributes to the dystopian future narrative by battling alongside the last X-Men against the Sentinels. Deadpool 2016 Colossus, played by the actor Stephen Kapicic, plays an important part in this film. He mentors Deadpool, Wade Wilson, and attempts to attract him to the X-Men. Colossus is instrumental in steering Deadpool towards heroism and X-Men principles. Deadpool 2 2018 Stefan Kapicic reprises his role as Colossus in the sequel. He remains a significant character, and he plays an important part in supporting Deadpool and the founding of X-Force, a squad of mutant heroes. In many action scenarios, Colossus demonstrates his power and endurance. Avengers Secret Wars appears to be building one of the most tremendous MCU casts in comic book movie history, and the original guy behind Colossus in Fox's X-Men films just addressed his odds of entering the battle. The X-Men are set to make their first appearance in the MCU in the coming years, with Marvel Studios apparently seeking to bring in as many prior mutant actors as possible for Avengers 6. With that picture only a few years away and the X-Men progressively transitioning from the Fox movies to the MCU chronology, former cast members from those films have addressed the subject of whether their characters will be participating in Phase 6's Avengers event. Beast star Kelty Grammer has revealed his wish to return to the MCU at least once, having previously portrayed Hank McCoy in a brief appearance in 2014's X-Men Days of Future Past. Following that, another original X-Men trilogy star expressed his wish to appear in the MCU, but his role has become more problematic in recent years. Daniel Cudmore played Colossus in the original X-Men trilogy and X-Men Days of Future Past, however was replaced by Stefan Kapicic in both the Fox's Deadpool features. Cudmore spoke with a Traversing the Stars YouTube channel in February 2022 about what he's heard about a possible return as Colossus across the multiverse as well as more characters being brought back for the MCU. While he hasn't heard anything since his last appearance in Days of Future Past in 2014, he sees no reason why Marvel shouldn't bring those heroes back when there are so many great characters in that universe that they can choose from. If rumours are to be believed, Marvel looks to be dead set on bringing back as many stars from the previous Marvel films as possible to make Avengers 6 the greatest comic book movie ever made. And if the studio asks Daniel Codmore to reprise his part, however little, it appears that he will be delighted and eager to don the mocap suit once more to bring his version of Colossus back into the fold. For the time being, Stefan Kapicic is set to reprise his role as Colossus in 2024's Deadpool 3. 
However, that picture will begin to explore all corners of the multiverse with Hugh Jackman's participation as Wolverine. Throw in the Time Variant Authority, and Wade and his Colossus may even run into Codmore's take on the hero from back in the day, with Deadpool notorious for his fourth wall breaking mayhem. Stefan Kapicic, who plays the huge metal mutant Colossus in Deadpool 3, has announced the formal start of filming for the highly anticipated MCU 3 quill. Confirmed to arrive in late 2024, following the surprising revelation that Hugh Jackman will wear the Wolverine claws for the first time in the MCU, Marvel is busy assembling an A-list ensemble of stars as the performers prepare for cameras and heads to roll. While Deadpool 3 may have production problems owing to the ongoing writer's strike, the commencement of filming is an exciting development for the MCU's first mutant-centric entry, with director Sean Levy and others hailing this film as a first in MCU history to receive an R rating, all eyes will be on the third installment when shooting officially begins. Rumours even suggest that this film would have Owen Wilson's Mobius pursuing Wade and his crew across the multiverse while no official plot specifics have been verified by anybody involved, and with Marvel anticipated to be more cautious with secrets on the Multiverse Saga installment, Stefan Kapicic and his castmates will have to maintain that degree of secrecy as Deadpool's third solo film becomes a reality. On the other hand, there's no official word about a standalone Colossus film, but it has been mentioned as long overdue. Stefan Kapicic will return as Colossus in future Deadpool flicks. There have been conversations regarding prospective Colossus actors and the type of supporting cast that might be included. Colossus previously appeared in the New Mutants film that was removed due to his links to magic. There is no information regarding possible directors or a standalone film storyline. Filming for the Marvel Cinematic Universe flick, which will most certainly contain Colossus, is underway. However, there are currently no credible sources reporting on any real rumours or prospects for a Colossus standalone film. A standalone Colossus film has been in high demand since the Deadpool Colossus performance by Stefan Kapicic. If the movie gets made, Tim Miller would be a great choice. Miller was the guy in charge of the Deadpool movie and obviously, he knows what he's doing. He gave us a Colossus that was truer to the character than most, with a good streak a mile wide and annoying as all get out. But when the big Russian was told to get aggressive, he came with a force that would leave a lot of people lying in the dirt with a shock to look in their faces. Miller could easily direct a movie like this. We want to hear from you. Share your thoughts and theories in the comments section below. Which movie are you most excited about? And what surprises do you think await us in this new phase of the MCU? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos diving into the MCU. We'll continue to bring you the latest updates, news and breakdowns as we eagerly await the release of these highly anticipated films. Thank you for watching the video, we'll see you at the next one and until then, peace!